UK Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. We're here at the Lighthouse Open. Our coverage is about to begin. Delighted you're able to join us for this first round action. Well, welcome to delightful Nova Scotia here in Canada. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam at the famed Royal Ethelwyn course. Rich, it's a big par five to start, isn't it? It is. This first hole is a royal pain in the ethyl wind. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. 589 yards. I mean, you can get it home in two, but that's only reserved for the big players. I got to say, it's a good birdie opportunity to start off the round, but it asks a lot. I know I can't wait. Let's get back down to the coverage. Playing from around 150 yards here. Wind is blowing from right to left here. Wants to work it against the wind. And choosing the eight iron here. Left yourself an opportunity. 14 feet to the cup. That was a gallant attempt. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Starting the round at even par. Time to tee off at the second. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. It's heading into the rough, I think. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. It's tracking. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. And with that, he'll stay right there at even par. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. And after a par at the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. Going with the pitching wedge here. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Oh, terrific approach and a chance for birdie here at the third. This is a good chance. Well hold. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. We've arrived at a par four hole. No, that's not the shot they wanted. Well, I know that we're in the booth and not right up close to it, but it doesn't take a smart person to work out that's not a nice lie. Yes, this is like a big bowl of spinach salad. It's just gnarly in there. Just needs a little bit more of a kick to the right. Well, that's well played. And a great birdie opportunity coming up here at the fourth. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Just didn't drop. And this putt coming up for his par. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Now four back after that hole. Here we are at the fifth hole. The tee is yours. Out of boy, good shot. Playing from 110 yards out. Four strokes off the lead. Choosing the nine iron here. Well, 
Well, good shot that. Right inside the range. Three feet to go here to the hole. And that's for birdie. Well hold. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. This hole is a par five. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Second shot here on the sixth. Interesting choice of the driver here. Ah, oh, absolutely flushed. Getting ready to play their third. Three behind our leader. This would be a great up and down. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. And it's worth taking another look at that one. Yeah. He's currently tied for fifth. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. <laughs> Opting for the 9-9. Nine -nine. Oh, I like that strike. This one's heading well towards the green. Yeah, nicely played. Trying to get it to four under with this putt. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And that should secure the par. Well done. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. He's currently tied for eighth. Moving down the leaderboard, Luke, never a good thing. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt. You'll take it. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Well, this would be a good putt to make. You'd move into the top five on the leaderboard. Oh, that's a fantastic attempt from that distance. Shame it didn't drop. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Just two shots back after that hole. This hole here is a par four. Beautiful swing there. From about 130 yards here. Wind's blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the one in here. Nicely done. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. <sighs> That's 
frustrating. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. You've arrived at a par five. Remember, a great drive sets up a strong birdie or even eagle opportunity. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? Well, definitely not where they planned to be, but they could have had a lot worse of a situation. Sitting up pretty good here in the sand. Got some good distance on that one. And here we are with the third shot. Just three back from the leader. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. And the punt will go. What a great display of resilience on this hole. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee, great recovery. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Opting for the five iron. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Made birdie on the last, looking for a second in a row here. Oh, so close. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Ooh, nice line. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Currently four under for the round. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Playing from around 210 yards here. Pro tip, when it's breezy, swing easy. You're welcome. Going with a three wood here. That's some good golf right there. Make this, and you'll move into a tie for third place. This one's dialed in. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Yeah, nice to make a mid-range par putt. Trailing by four strokes. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. That's not the outcome they were after. Oh, look at that. The wind just wreaking havoc with that shot. Disappointing. <laughs> Lovely touch. Well played. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Yeah, we'll take that. He's currently tied for sixth. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Lining up from around 160 yards. Wind's blowing from left to right. They're going to try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. That's a bad error to make there. That's headed right.
Yep, that shot safely on the green. Well, oh, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? That's about a 24-foot putt, I'd say. Ouch, that hurts. Big putt for par coming up. Job done. Let's head to the next. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. We've arrived at a par four. This one might roll into the rough. Time for the second shot at the 15. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. A bit short with that effort. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. That's inside the range. Putting for bogey. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Currently at three under for the day. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you take on this 16th hole. Okay, let's get those two important things back. Timing and tempo. That's in the sand. Come on, second time lucky. Here we are in the fairway bunker. Can they execute a good shot? That's an awful error. John, you're down there. Can he get out of this predicament? And that ball really dug into this bunker. It's, uh, she's deep, boys. She's deep. That swing didn't deserve a good reward. This should head into the rough. Here's their sixth shot. Five strokes behind our leader. Going with the seven. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. This is a triple bogey attempt here. likes to put a quad on the card. Let's make this, please. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on. And yeah, that's a little disappointing. Dropping some spots on the leaderboard. Welcome to this hole. It's a par four. That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great rhythm. Time for the second shot at the 17th. Getting ready to play their third. Handy effort, that one. This putt is of nine feet. It's on a good line. Well done. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. This hole is a long par four. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Good shot there. This shot is about 140 yards out. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green.
Going with the 9-iron, nine I think. This one needs to kick left. And here we are with the third shot. This is a par putt. And with that, this round comes to a close. Well, that's a shame. Off to a great start, but ultimately they blew it. They did. It was, uh, they had everything going in the front nine, and all of a sudden they make the turn, and where does it go? Right down the toilet. Well, on behalf of us. Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. Today's coverage of the Lighthouse Open is about to start. Delighted to have your company for this second round action. Hi everyone, Luke Elvey alongside Rich Bean. And Rich, this player is trailing. Do they have to really step it up and get it going today? Look, this player is trailing at the moment. Let's face it, there is so much golf left out there. Anything can happen. Let's just sit back, relax and watch it unfold. Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares today. Well, you love this player. Why wouldn't you wait to see how this player plays? You, you have a poster of this player at home, don't you? A two. Ah, okay. Yeah. Setting up miles from the hole. Mm, just hammered that through the line. Seven feet to the cup. Good looking putt. They made it off to a great start today. Absolutely love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Still a chance to attack this hole from the first cut. Yeah, they parred this hole yesterday, but from easier circumstances today, a little more difficult, but still doable. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Now from that lie, missing the green was always an option. Thirteen feet to the hole. Okay, steady now. And this one will be for bogey. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Sitting at one over for the event. Not much happening. Moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Well, that's a handy shot. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Looks like a 24-foot putt. Well, what a way to bounce back. Nice putt to hold. And let's have another look at that one. And unfortunately, dropping back to level with the card. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. That one's right out of the top drawer. It's always a good view playing from an elevated position to the green.
Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. Let's see if you can make this. And keep the par on the card. Oh, just missed. This one's for bogey. Okay, let's head to the next. Currently at plus one for the tournament. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Well, this should find the short grass. From around 120 yards here. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. <laughs> Terrific approach and a chance for a birdie here on the fifth. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. A well holds. We'll take the birdie. And stepping up the standings after that effort. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. It's heading to the rough for mine. And John, what's this one looking like? Well, hopefully they can get it out of this first cut. It ended up nestling itself down in there pretty good. That's a smart option. Back into the fairway. Getting ready to play their third. That's a great shot in the booty range here at the sixth. A seven footer right here. Don't mind the look of this. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And with it, he moves to one under par. And now teeing off on this par four hole. That's tidy. Time for the second shot here at the seventh. Choosing the nine iron here. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the booty range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Ooh, you can make this one. It's for par. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. This hole is a par three. Opting for the five wood. It's like that ball had a magnet in it for the bunker. That's not what they were looking for. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. OK, phase one complete. Uh, You've got to make a good putt here. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. That was a gallant attempt. This next putt is for bogey. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. And with that, he moves up to even par. And moving down the leaderboard as well. We have a par four on this one.
That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Second shot here on the ninth. Opting for the nine iron. Hoping for a bounce here, preferably to the left. But not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Oh, a little bit of a rush of blood by the looks of it. You know, Luke Donald once made all 400 plus attempts inside three feet on the PGA Tour. Nicely hold and for par. Okay, Rich, we're through nine holes here today and it's cut day. What do you think's going through this player's mind? Luke, they're just above the cut line at the moment. I gotta say, what a pressure situation they're in. They cannot afford any mistakes whatsoever. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Second shot here at the 10th. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Two big hits there, knocking in on this par five and two. Oh, you set yourself up with an eagle opportunity. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. And that will take him to one under. This hole is a par three. Is it one you should attack or play the smart shot? Going with the six iron here. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. This player's got some lovely momentum coming off a birdie at the last. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. That's a terrific shot and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the 12th. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. It was on a good line. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Going with the nine iron, I think. Come on, get down. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Air mailed the green with that approach. Mm -mm. Straight out of the top drawer. Judging it beautifully. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Our current leader is up by three shots. 
Time to step on your tee shot here at this long par four. No harm, no foul there with that shot. This shot from about 190 yards out. This one's going to the right. They're not a bad shot, that one. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Get in the hole. Well, what a lovely putt to make. And that will take him to three under. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. Nice birdie back there. On to the next. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this lie? Well, considering where they ended up, the the lie could have been a lot worse. I think they might be able to, to deal with this with not too, too much trouble. Choosing the 9-iron here. And here we are with the third shot. Wow, that almost went in the hole. And he needs this to save par. Just didn't drop. This is a bogey putt coming up. And after this hole, that's how it looks. Currently a couple under for the event. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Not a bad line, this one. This shot here near the 200-yard marker. Going with the five iron here. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Slim chance here for Birdie, but you never know. Oh, so close. Right on four feet. Should make this one. It's got a chance. And there it is. Currently two under for the event. Just a couple to go. Let's see how you handle the penultimate hole. Seems like they've got an abundance of swing thoughts going on there. Perhaps paralysis by analysis. Found the deep rough. Yeah, this will take a big hack to get out here. Not as easy and straightforward as yesterday's par, so work to be done. It was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Can't fault him there. This rough is nasty. No fault in missing the green. <laughs> Nicely done. If he makes this, he'll save his par. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Solid par part, that. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Well, it's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the 18.
Where did that come from? That's not his style. A couple under at this stage. Opting for the nine iron. Well, a little off the target with that one. Not taking enough club to get it there. Oh, that's the hands of a surgeon. Lovely touch. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. And that signs off on today's round. So that wasn't a bad round of golf there, Rich, but hopefully our player can find a spark tomorrow and move up that leaderboard. Once again, they had a better round today, but unfortunately, everybody ahead of them played even better. So they're going to have to find something in their game in order to move up that leaderboard. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HP Studios, 